Hello and welcome to another video from Foresight BI. My name is Ahmed Oyelo. In this video, I'm going to be talking about seven Power Query keyboard shortcuts and functionalities. And I'm sure most of the things you will learn here are things that you will learn for the first time. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, kindly make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, so seven Power Query keyboard shortcuts and functionalities. What's number one? So number one is something as simple as deleting columns in Power Query. So typically in Power Query, what you do when you want to delete a column is you basically have to come and select the column, then you right click and you say remove column. And in the case where you have much more columns than one, what you do is select a couple of columns, right click and you say remove columns. So what keyboard shortcut can you use to do this? Something as simple as the delete key. So if I want to remove this column, for example, I will just hit delete key on my keyboard. So delete gets it deleted. And if I have multiple columns, say I have this, I have this, and I have this column as well to delete, all I need to do is hit delete key on my keyboard. Okay. So that's number one shortcut to delete a column in Power Query. You don't have to right click and select remove columns. You can just hit the delete key. Okay, so let's move on to number two is zoom. So why would you want to zoom in Power Query? So for some reason or for any reason, you may like to see things clearer or you may just want to reduce the size of your Power Query window. Okay, so to zoom in, you are going to use Control Shift and Plus. So if I have something selected, I hit Control Shift Plus Plus Plus. It's going to zoom in. And if I want to zoom out, it's just the opposite. Control Shift minus 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 is going to zoom out. So at some point, I may not really know which of my uh, which view is the default. So let's say I zoom in now, and I'm trying to zoom out. I'm trying to go back to the default view. I'll just hit Control Zero. Okay. So Control Shift Plus zooms in. Control Shift minus zooms out and Control Zero takes you back to default. Okay, so number one, delete. Number two, zoom in. Then let's see what number three is. So number three is adding column from example. Okay, so in Power Query, you want to add column from example. You have to come to click on the Add Column tab. Then you select the column you want to use as an example, and then you say add column, column from example. I say from selection. Then I can just type type in stuff like 2016-152156. And I will expect Parkway to look at this pattern and basically generate every other thing for me. And as you can see, I can use Control Enter to apply all of this instead of clicking on OK. Okay. But then if I don't want to come to Add Column tab, I just need a keyboard shortcut that will automatically take me to Column from Example once I select this column. So all I do is I'll hit Control E on my keyboard. So Control E, E for example, is going to bring me this dialog and then I can now enter 2016 dash one five two one five six click on an empty space everything gets generated then i can use ctrl enter to apply this okay so ctrl e is going to bring up column from example dialog okay so now we have three let's go look at number four Number four is to go to column. So if I have my power query now and I would like to look for a particular column, I don't want to scroll, scroll left, scroll right, and then I have to stress my eyes looking at column headers. I don't want to do all of this. What I'll do is I'll hit Ctrl G on my keyboard. So Ctrl G is go to column. I can see a list of all my columns and I can easily just double click on one of them to jump there or I could just come in here and type. So if I come in here and type something, for example, it just reduces the list that I have and I can just double click on any one of them and I'm going to jump straight into that column. 
so that's number four number four is use control g to go to a column so let's see what number five is all about number five is to edit headers okay so if i want to edit a heading for example typically what you do is so let's say i want to change this sales to revenue i have to select sales i'll have to right click then i'll come to rename and then i'll type in revenue okay so i'm just going to delete that step rename columns so a shorter way for you to do that is once my sales column is selected i will just press f2 on my keyboard okay so f2 is gonna take me to edit the heading so now i can type in my revenue so you can edit headers using the f2 key so let's see what number six is so this is number five number five is use the f2 key to edit header so let's see what we have on number six so number six is to navigate select on select columns okay so what do you mean by that so if i come to power query now if i want to navigate to the right hand side i need to use this scroll bar here to scroll to the right, I want to scroll to the left, I need to use the scroll bar, but really handling the mouse can sometimes be a tedious exercise. So what I could do instead is, if I have one column selected, I can use my right direction key on my keyboard to move to the right, and I can use the left direction key to move back to the left, and then if I want to select multiple columns, for example, all I need to now do is hold my control key, so once control key is pressed down i can use the right direction key so watch what happens you can see now i'm on order id now i'm on order date now i'm on ship date right so if i want to select row id and ship date i hold down my control key i can use my direction key to move left to move right and if i want to select this column as well i'll just hit control enter so control enter make sure these two are now selected so if i want to select more i keep moving right direction key right direction key i want to pick customer id control enter okay so control enter is going to select it what i use my control and direction key to navigate to right control and direction key to navigate left so what if i would like to unselect this customer id so while i still have control key held i will now press my space bar so control space bar is going to unselect control enter is going to select control space bar is going to unselect so that's number six so number six you want to navigate with your control and your direction key and you want to use control enter to select a column or control space bar to unselect a column so what do we have on the final one so what's on number seven so let's see what we have on number seven so number seven is to change data type change data type in power query so let me just scroll to the right hand side so let me go to revenue okay so if i want to change revenue data type from decimal number a couple of options one option is select this column right click and come to change type pick whatever i want option two is to go to transform tab and i'll see data type here option three is to come to the home tab i'll see data type right here option four is to use this 1.2 icon here so this icon always beside the headings and i can use that to change data type okay but if i want to go by keyboard convention since we are talking keyboard here so i want to change data type all i can do is press my control key and arrow down okay so control arrow down is going to give me this option for data types and i can use the letters to navigate to where i want okay so if i want to change this to percentage for example i'll just press p so p is going to change it to percentage but if i want to change it to fixed decimal number i'll press f and it's going to change to fixed decimal number so that's a wrap seven keyboard shortcuts in power query